found a strand of these darling mother of pearl bird beads at a bead show and we thought that these would make a delightful pair of earrings. So we're going to show you how to make the pair to this earring. Essentially it's a hodgepodge of beads, a, a leaf charm, and some bicones, and we're going to show you how easy it is to make this. The first thing you want to do is take a head pin and um, we're going to use this head pin to make the first of our three dangles. I've got my bicone crystal bead here. This is just a four millimeter bicone crystal bead and I'm feeding it onto a head pin and I'm going to make a wrapped loop to make my first dangling component. So to do that I'm using round nose pliers. I'm going to grasp the wire of my head pin right above my bicone crystal here and I'm going to bend the wire toward me 90 degrees. Then I'm going to reposition my pliers to the top of that little bend so that I'm grasping it at the 90 degree bend, but I'm going to bend that wire up and over the top jaw of my pliers away from me. And that makes the start of a loop. Then I'm going to take my pliers and put the bottom jaw in that loop. I'm going to finish pulling the loop around to finish the loop like that. Then I'm going to grasp the, the loop across with my round nose pliers and I'm going to wrap the tail around the neck of that head pin two times. And what that does is it secures that loop so that um, the bead won't slide off and the loop won't open. Now I'm going to take my wire cutters and I'm going to trim that wire. And I've got a little end sticking up. This happens a lot when you're doing wire work. I'm going to use my chain nose pliers and I'm just going to press that little end down just because we don't want any pokey, little pokey ends. And there's our first little beaded component. You see it there. And we're going to make two more of our little dangling components. This time we're going to use wire. This is just 24 gauge gold wire. I'm going to cut about a three inch length of wire. And I'm going to, I'll start with the leaf for fun. I'm going to feed the wire through my leaf, just like that. And then I'm going to pinch the wire up over the top of the leaf so that my wire sort of crisscross like that. I'm going to bend one of them 90 degrees and bend the other one sort of straight up. And I'm just using my fingers and fingernails for this. It just makes it easier. Then I'm going to make a, a wrapped loop. And to do that, I'm going to use my round nose pliers and I'm going to hold on to that crisscross. And I'm going to take the wire that I bent at a 90 degree angle and I'm going to wrap it around that neck like that. And that way that um, wire won't, um, or the bead won't come off. I'm going to use my wire cutters to trim that little end there. And then I'm going to make a wrapped loop in the top of this. So to do that, I'm going to do what we just did with that bicone bead. I'm grabbing the wire um, right above where I made that first loop. I'm going to bend the wire 90 degrees toward me, reposition the pliers, wrap the wire up and over that top jaw, reposition to the bottom um, jaw, pull the wire around to finish the loop, and then I'm going to wrap the loop by grasping the loop across with my pliers and pulling the wire around two times like that. And these wires kind of overlap each other from the other loop or the other wrap and that's just fine. I'm going to trim and then I see I've got a couple ends sticking up here. So I'm going to use my chain nose pliers to press those ends down so they're not sticking up. There's my second little dangling component. And for my third one, I've got a briolette bead and it's kind of similar to the leaf. So we're going to do it the same way. I'm going to cut about a three inch piece of wire here. This is our 24 gauge wire and I'm going to feed it through the hole in my briolette. I'm going to do the same thing I did with the leaf, which is pinch the wire up and over the top of that briolette so they crisscross. I'm going to bend one of the wires 90 degrees like that at the crisscross. And the other one I'm just going to use my fingernail make it kind of stick straight up. And then I'm going to wrap this the same way we've been doing. I'm going to use my round nose pliers to grasp that little crisscross, 
pull the wire around the neck like that to make a little wrap. And then I'm going to trim the wire. And then I'm going to make a loop, grasp the wire right above where I just made that loop, bend the wire 90 degrees toward me, reposition the pliers to the top of the bend, pull the wire around the top jaw, and I'm bending that wire away from me. I'm going to reposition the pliers to the bottom jaw, and then pull that wire around to finish my loop. So I've got a finished loop there. I'm going to grasp the loop across with my round nose pliers and I'm going to wrap the wire around two times. And again, I'm kind of overlapping or meeting up with that initial wrap that I did. And now I'm going to use my wire cutters to trim. And then I'm going to use my chain nose pliers to press down any ends that are sticking up. Like that. And I'm also going to straighten up my loop a little bit. There we go. So that's my third little dangle. Now is the super fun part. We're going to assemble our whole earring with our, our special bead, our bird. To do that, I'm going to cut about a four inch piece of my 24 gauge wire. And I'm going to make a wrapped loop at one end of this piece of wire. So I've come down probably about an inch there, a little over an inch. And I'm going to bend my wire 90 degrees like I've been doing reposition the pliers, pull the wire up and over the top jaw, reposition again to the bottom jaw and pull the wire around. Now I've got a loop. I'm going to grasp the loop with my pliers and then wrap this little tail around the neck two times. And that's my wrapped loop. I'll use my wire cutters to trim and I'll use my chain those pliers to press that little end down. So I've got a little end there. There we go. And now I can assemble um, my little center component here. We're making this piece that we're going to add these dangles to. So to do that, I've got my bicone first. Then I'm going to slide on my bird. And then my second bicone. And now I'm going to start to make my wrapped loop, but I'm not going to wrap the loop yet. So I'm grasping my wire right above that bead with my round nose pliers. I'm going to make a 90 degree bend, reposition the pliers so they're at the, the top of that bend. I'm going to pull the wire up and over that jaw away from me. Reposition the pliers so the bottom jaw is now in the loop and pull that wire around. But I'm not going to wrap this loop yet. Instead, I'm going to feed on my dangles. So to do that, I've got my briolette first. Then I've got my leaf, because I kind of want my leaf in the middle. And then my bicone crystal. And now I'm going to kind of pull them down into that little loop. Make sure they're down in my loop, like that. You see they're nestled down in there. I'm going to use my round nose pliers and I'm going to grasp the loop across just like I've been doing all along. It's a little bit trickier with my dangles there, but you can just make sure your dangles are down at the bottom of the loop like that. And now I'm going to wrap the loop by pulling that tail around this neck two times. And I'm going to trim. And I'll use my chain nose pliers to press that little end down because I see I've got a little end sticking out. We go. And now to make this into a proper earring, we've got an earring wire. And what I'm going to do is just slide the loop onto the earring wire. And then when I get to the part where it won't go past, I'm going to use my chain nose pliers to just slightly open that loop until the bird earring falls down in that little loop. And then I can close it back up. And now I've got a darling pair of birdie boho earrings. Mm -hmm.